Good evening. I'm going to critique a play called Negative Space by the theatre company Record Sleepers. Whilst I critique, I will refer back to what radical theatre is, what post-traumatic theatre is, um, what intermedial theatre means and audience activation in theatre. So I sat down and gathered my thoughts as I watched a play that had no music and sound and six actors appeared on stage over the duration of almost an hour and it starts off where there's three white plasterboards and a woman appears and then a man appears and then men appear from trapdoors another woman appears it starts off almost like what we call in Australia um, a cyclone it's just the gentle whispers and quiet talkings and walking around the stage and greeting each other and looking at each other and like a cyclone it starts off with a change in the wind and temperature and the movement around the room shows that and so like a cyclone it builds to a crescendo so these six actors end up these six people who are dressed like they're going to a, a day at the office start pulling apart this set smashing it with their bodies smashing it with hammers racing past each other and then out of nowhere this beautiful rose appears and you think that took me down another path at times it's funny at times it's captivating and like what radical theatre represents is that challenging perception of what normal theatre is, where there's a storyline and it's all connected and you have an outcome at the end. Whereas this, I made up my own story about what these people were doing on this set. Intermediality um, by Chappelle and Kattenbelt. Um, refers to that where that live action and sound and the audience coincides to create interest and that performance theatre the audience is integral to the meaning of the theatre um, as a First Nations person watching the stage I found it challenging to connect to these people because I couldn't see myself in them the women were slim and you know, size 10 in proper clothing that they're going to work in and they were white and towards the end I imagined that they were trying to break out of their white privilege and what did that mean for them? Did they want it to come crashing down? Did they want those walls to come down so that people of other cultures can come through? That's how I got the meaning out of this play. Um, Radical theatre, you know, Lehman talks about it, um, you know, five decades ago, and it's so relevant in a play that's been produced in the last three years, you know. Um, this could have been set um, in a factory, but it's on a stage, and you feel like you're privy to what white privilege looks like. I guess there were moments of tenderness and caring and love and concern. I think that had to do with the compassion and empathy, maybe the frustrations of living in their world. I think